Good morning. I have with me um, Nigel Ray and Sue Simmons from the Felix O. Photographic Society. Um, they're going to just talk about the society, its origins, what they do, a lot more than I ever thought. They're going to show some beautiful, beautiful pictures and some cameras. Good morning, Nigel. Good morning, Sue. Good morning. morning, Patricia. So I think, yeah, fire away. How did it all get going? How did it start? Um, the society started in November 1948 mm -hmm. uh, when a group of uh, people from Felixstowe got together yeah. uh, and decided that they wanted to form uh, a, a photographic society at that time. Okay. Uh, and they met in the Old Millers, yes. um, which was a cafe, I think, at that time. Um, yes, it was. Uh, and we have, the, we have the minutes here from the, from the first meeting. Uh, and uh, um, Mr. Johnson was the, uh, presided over the meeting. Okay. Uh, and Dr. J. L. Johnson proposed <laughs> that the society should be formed in the town and was second, seconded by Mr. Woodrow and carried unanimously. Okay. Uh, and um, on the proposal of Sergeant Greystone, seconded by Mr. Flarry, it was agreed the society should be known as the Felix O. Photographic Society. Mm -hmm. And then uh, five people were appointed onto the committee. Uh, Mr. Woodrow and Mr. Byam uh, were kind of the leading lights, and we still have much coveted uh, trophies and cups named after them, which are still competed, competed for uh, today. So this was the start, uh, and then they had the next meeting on the 10th of December, and then it took mm -hmm. off from then. So 1948. Oh, yeah, it's a long while. Yeah, yes. It's an awful long while. Yeah. 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 We had celebrations. Like, goodness. Yeah. So, yeah. And obviously, how many? I mean, obviously, the members. And how, what is the membership now? The membership. Today? The membership now is sort of mid sixties. Right. Uh, and it's increased since digital sort of became more popular. Yes. We, we have had an in, uh, an interest in uh, yes. in in membership. Yeah. Uh, I think two reasons. First of all, um, everybody is a photographer now. Everybody can take yeah. the pictures. And also, it's easier, I think, to get prints uh, and digital projected images, yeah. uh, you know, shown. Yes. Because in the old days, you had to have a dark room and you had to you do various need. things. Yes. Whereas now, it, it's, it's easy. You can either go up to the local um, printers yep. or you can do it on your computer at home. Yes. It's made it very, very easy. It has. Yes. Very, very easy. Yeah. Which is, which is a good thing. So, really, in a way, it's a good thing because it's obviously relaunched that interest in photography. <laughs> Oh yes, hasn't it? Uh, absolutely. You know, it's, uh, yes, I mean, I'm going back to when being a teenager, and you used to have the little Kodaks and whatever, and you'd put the the, the, the film in, and you used to roll it on, and uh -huh. and then you used to click at the ends and take it out, and yeah, <laughs> and, and and you were more careful with your shots because you either had twelve, twenty-four, or thirty-six. Oh my goodness, but yes, now, yes, yeah, you know, it's, it's, you, can, you can do whatever you want, can't mm. you? It's just ongoing. So, what kind of cameras would they be using? Like well, it's interesting because that, um, the uh, cameras are quite advanced at that time. Because right. I mean, in the 1930s, you had the Leicas, which are the small 35 millimeter mm. cameras, and then you had the twin lens reflex, the yeah. uh, the Roliflexes, which were very popular, and of course plate cameras as well. There were still a few yes. um, plate cameras about. But um, interestingly, uh, 1948 was the launch of, of this camera, which is the uh, Hasselblad, mm. um, which is um, you know quite an um, iconic camera. Yeah, um, it's the same cameras that were used to go to the moon. Yes. The moon trips. Yes. We, they used the Hasselblads, uh, and this was launched at the same time that the, the Felix Stowe Photographic yeah. Society was um, was started. Yeah. And you know they've evolved this uh, this particular camera, um, but it's only just been discontinued after all that Goodness. time. So. This is what the sort of roll film cameras that you yeah. know, some of the uh, members with deep pockets might have been using right, at that time. Okay. Um, Would the members with not so deep pockets have had a box brownie? I don't what think so. I think they would have probably yeah. had um, probably um, one of uh, an Ico um, maybe a Zeiss. Uh, camera roll film mm, camera yeah, or something right. like that yeah. with a compass shutter on the front, so you had to ah, set the shutter. Right, yes. okay. um, yeah. And in those days, you actually had to um, work it out, work out the exposure yes. and the shutter yeah. speeds. Yeah. Whereas mm. nowadays, it's a lot of yeah. it is done it is done yes. for you in, yes. in the yes, camera. Exactly. I remember my father had this. It's a Yashica. So am I right yes, in saying yes. that a Yashica? Yeah. And that was his camera, and he was so proud of it. And yeah. He specialised a lot, and he did black and white pictures really 
years after everything body was doing colour because yeah. that's what yes. he specialised yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. So you think it's so well, stunning. And, and monochrome is coming yeah. back big time now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, and he great. he made a little dark room. He had his own, and it yes. was his hobby. Yes, yeah. definitely his hobby. Yeah, yes. it's like my dad yeah. in the cupboard under the stairs. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And that's where he is, and that's his little cabinet. I was just going to say, well, they're hide away, and yeah, men can have some peace and quiet. Exactly. Yeah. It's not an armchair, but we're just Well, that's yeah. right. <laughs> there is something magical about put, have it, having the three trays there, you know, the, oh, the, yes. the developer, the hyper, and the yes. fixer, and then, you know, uh, with the enlarger and, and dodging yeah. and burning in, and then, that's you know, right. putting it into the, and then yeah. seeing the image appear. And I think that's once it. you see that, you're hooked, I think. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Are. I mean, I occasionally I was allowed in, and I used to, mm -hmm. you know, go in there with the, seeing that process, and then sort of pinning the pictures up, yes. and mm. this little runner, you know, at the top, yeah. and oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. And photo yeah. talk like dodge and burn. Yes. I didn't know what dodging and burning was, no. but I do now. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's so brilliant! And you had you had little you had little things on wires, didn't you? Where where you where little round things where, which would hold back the the light or yes, that's you know, right. and, oh, and yes. it in and whatever yes. little tricks, and you and you shade yes. little parts of the of the print with yeah. your hand, you know. So yes, um, yes, so totally yeah. done. So yeah. fantastic. Well, I mean that that's how you learn you learn photography in the dark yeah. room. I mean, yes. this is where you really learned, you mm -hmm. know. And if mm -hmm. it wasn't right, why wasn't it right? You know. No, mm -hmm. that's, that's so you had to sort of get it right at the taking stage, yes. yeah. which yes. you still do really now. Yes, yes. You know? and they're still using those phrases for the computer, aren't they? Yes, they, yes. People think they can save it in the computer, but you've got to get it right in the yeah. you know, right from the start. Really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, so we've got this camera going back to 1948, so how did that progress? What was the next sort of stage? Well, the next stage, to... well, we went into probably single-lens mm. reflexes, mm. you know, um, which is, this is a film, one from the, from the 60s. This is a Nikon, but Canon and yes. various other makes of. So th this was a, you know, a classic roll film camera, yeah. 35 mil, uh, and interchangeable lenses, which meant people could do wide angles or telephoto yes. lenses on. And um, so, you know, these were these were quite popular yeah. in, in camera clubs, uh, and, uh, and then it's evolved in now. I mean, we're into, you know, cameras like this, which is, you know, but quite similar design, mm. Mm. Um, but it, it's got a flip out screen here, so you can flip it around yeah. there, and it shoots high definition video. Mm. It still has still has interchangeable lenses and everything, but. You know, the camera has evolved. It still has the basic functions, yes. but lots of help in there. From yeah, you know, yeah. it has all these modes so that you can um, yeah. you know put it on different modes if you want. So mm. um, it's it's evolved a bit. And of course, nowadays yes. people are still using tiny little cameras like this and or their phones and, and getting good shots. Mm. Uh, exactly. You know, so they're getting smaller and smaller, and you know. Yeah. Who would have thought in 1948 that you'd have a camera the size of a Swan Vesta's well, yeah. matchbox? Well, this is the thing. I mean, as I, I use my pocket. phone for doing pictures, and again, it's uh, probably that big. It's, mm. That's it, you yes. know. Yes. And I get amazing pictures of it. So, yeah. what, what can you say? Well, no, yeah. because that now there's there's going to be even better and better phones yeah. with cameras, yeah. which mean that you know the small compact ca mm. cameras mm. will be, mm. you know, gone. Gone. Exactly. Oh, there you go. How life moves mm. on. Yeah. How evolved moves the technology. On. So you've got your club, you've got your society. When do you actually meet? We meet on Thursday evenings yeah. uh, from uh, September to June mm -hmm. in the Senior Citizen Centre, Broadway yeah. Centre in Orwell Road. Yes. Yes. Uh, meeting start at um, 7.30. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a very nice venue. Yeah, mm. very nice venue for us. Some nights in the dark, it's too nice. Isn't it? <laughs> we have had to wake members up to tell them they've, they've won a competition. <laughs> but it, it is, it's, yeah. yeah. And we average about thirty-five to forty members a club night. Yes, yes, from sometimes our, more, sometimes yeah. more. But yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. Um, you know, people Broadway. look forward to coming out on Thursday and mm. coming down. And and we run such a varied uh, and you know interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, series of, of meetings that people yeah, really like to come along, and you know, they look forward to coming. Yeah. It's good. So, well, what kind of age range have you got? It's well, the youngest is uh, is uh, at college. Yeah. Um, and then there's a bit of a jump up. Right. So, okay. Um, you know, so but we don't have that many youngsters. Mm. I think we'd like to get more youngsters in. I think we would like to do Which that. I think would be a good idea because um, the academy now is, is running an A-level course for photography. Um, my daughter, my other daughter, actually started doing the course. Mm. Um, but unfortunately she couldn't continue with it. And, you know, she, she got her GC 
SE, she got a good grade in that, so I'm just going to do A level. And I'd, I'd love her to carry on a bit more, because mm -hmm. I mean, she loves photography, so it'd be a good idea, you know, yeah. to encourage her to go. Well, I'd say people can mm. cherry pick from the programme what they yeah. would like. I mean, our studio mm. nights, if they just want to come along. Yeah. And, um, bring their camera and yes, sort of, mm. as, yeah, use our sort of use the equipment. Yes, and, exactly. Yes, and we have a good tutor. Yeah, yes, we do. Yeah. Tutors yes. And, and talk to members who are in the mm. because we do for the competitions. We have the intermediate. Yeah. So if you're a role beginner and feel a bit reluctant to mm. sort of do competitions, you you know you're not actually up there with the big boys because they're all in advance. So that's a comfort yeah, for me. Yeah, really. of course. Mm. It encourages because you can feel a little intimidated. Yes, I'm sure you so can. it take, uh, took me a year to get the courage up to put a picture in. Yeah. And then after that, you're on a roll because you start it, winning. You've done it. You've started. Yeah, started. yeah. It's you start getting fantastic. points, and yes, and you're learning all the time. Yes. And we now have um, in-house judges, but we have external judges as well right. coming along for the competitions now. That the um, uh, our members asked for that, mm. and we listen to them. Yeah. And we've got external judges. You don't. You don't have to enter competitions. I mean, lot, no. a lot of people don't enter of competitions. Of course, you don't. They, no. um, so it's not all about competitions, but it's all about uh, as a society, we you know we we try and to kind of nurture people and, and mm. guide them, give them interesting yeah. um, advice, and and mm. you know just try to broaden their horizons a yes. little bit yes. and, and yes. knowledge yes. about photographers and, yeah. and you know yeah. and the whole sort of photographic experience. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, you yes. know, they quite like that. Mm. So mm. we can well, we can shortcut. Yes, I mean the when they instigated the society, it was all about. Not only education, but um, friendly society learning. So yes. it was sort of, yeah, yes. learning, but also sort of being entertained. Um, educated is a, a, a funny, it's perhaps the wrong word, mm. but but certainly you are learning. And yes, if you don't enter competitions, you're still gaining insights. Mm. Um, like yes, looking at a picture and not intuitively knowing that it's things are on the thirds mm. and. Mm. Um, I mean, I was watching someone on the news tonight, uh, this morning, and the photo behind them, the horizon was on the her. And I shouted yeah. at the telly straight. <laughs> I was appalling on the BBC, a wonky horizon. And, and you suddenly realise all these years of photography is ingrained in you. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. But of course, you do other things. You obviously used to do outside events as well. We do. Yes, we have yeah, for studio. Then. Yeah, we have um, uh, we we have a studio working group. Yes. Course, which which um, Sue helps helps yeah. run. Um, and can you explain a little bit more about that, Sue? We uh, <laughs> yeah. We we normally try to do um, a combination of um, a portraiture a studio night set up mm -hmm. with the cameras, with the lights, yeah. and yeah. Um, with the backdrops. Yes. But because obviously there is a bit of a time scale for taking the photographs, we also then set up some tabletop events right. so you can um, take your camera and do mm. some tripod work. Mm. Um, and we'll show some pictures later. Um, but we also like to get out and about a bit if we can. Yes. And at least exactly. once a year, we hire the hut and go down on the prom and do some pictures. Wonderful. Outdoor pictures. Wonderful. Um, um, the weather isn't always with us, but we soldier on, and if it's wet, Vicar indoors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, so we, we try and make a variety. But we, that's more of a social as well. People can sort of, rather than sitting and being talked to, yeah. they can mingle and, and bring their computers along as well as their cameras. Yes. And, yes. and get one to one from the more advanced um, members, yeah. who, yeah. more experienced members. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. a lot is learned that way. I think it is because quite often you're working in isolation and taking pictures in mm, isolation. Yes. So here's a chance when you're in a group situation. Yeah. Um, and also you can use extended use of your for you know maybe two or three hours. You're using yeah. your camera, which is which is good. Mm. And it, and so you can have a look and review the pictures and find out why they're not working. Or, mm. And also it's an opportunity mm. to use um, proper studio flashes because yes. not, not many people have access to that. So no. it's an opp opportunity to do that. Mm. We also run the um, digital working yes. group nights, which is uh, <laughs> when digital first came. When digital first came in, there was a lot of you know a um, lot of things to learn, apparently, and, and things. So uh, we try there to uh, encompass the whole range of, of, um, of photography through to the taking stage to the, the processing stage on the computer. Yeah. So we go, we try and run through that. We also look at the work of other photographers and yes. and have a look at stuff because. 
you can become rather insular. We need to see what other people are doing and, no, no, and no, no. other things. So, yes, yeah, so that's the sort of um, the sort of practical night and, and mm. a little bit of um, of tuition as well. Yes. So we try and do that. And we look at basic how to use your camera and yes. basic techniques and things. Because yeah. yeah. a lot of people, they buy quite a nice camera and they really don't know what to do with it. No. To be honest. <laughs> they look at it and think, I don't know. So we try and help them with that. Yeah. It is the manipulation. Um, we have very good people who give good tutorials, mm -hmm. but you can see after perhaps 10 minutes, people are starting to glaze over. Yes. <laughs> so small sound bites on particular subjects works well. Yes. And then don't forget audio, the audio-visual. Yes, well. we, yes, we also have an audio-visual. Uh, we used to be slide tape where you had all your slides and, yeah. and uh, you know tape. Where, and it got very sophisticated in the end you'd have multiple slide projectors mm. all, all going with a run, you know, running off a reel to reel or yes, something like yeah. that or even a cassette yeah. recorder uh, and that was very very big and bulky now you just bring along a little stick memory stick with your program on yeah. which you produced at home using um, you know some of the software you just line the pictures up and right. do the soundtrack yeah. sounds very easy but there's uh, yeah. That's the easy the part. Skill. The skill is actually producing the program and, and you know, understanding the, uh, the dynamics of producing an audio visual. Yeah. So yeah. We, we, we have instruction on that and we have an annual competition right. uh, for the best audio visual. Mm -hmm. um, and that's quite, uh, that's quite a, a very interesting evening with a massive range of different <laughs> programs <laughs> on there from the, yeah. from the very, uh, very funny ones to mm. um, you know quite serious stuff mm. on there, don't we? Yes. And, just, and the scan of the work is excellent, brilliant, yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's a nice thing. You can have humour, you can have the serious side. But yeah. Yes, you can bring humour into things. So photos we were saying earlier, mm. where you put up the print and and there's instant laughter. People yeah. will see. Yeah. Humor in them. Yes. I mean, now with uh, the montage and the collage effect that you can get, mm. uh, people are sneaking some clever things in. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is to keep it fresh. I mean, fun, yeah, fun, yeah. the fundamentals of photography really hasn't changed since the society was was first formed. No. Um, and if you look back, you're seeing the same old pictures. You know, they're still landscapes and they're still mm. people pictures or portraits or mm. you know, still lifes. Um, so we need to see something slightly different, give it a new slant if we yeah, can. And yeah. These are the pictures that judges are looking for, something mm. that's a little bit different from the norm. Mm. Um, rather than just reproducing what's in front of you, I think it's, you know, we're trying to get, you know, the photographer's input into the picture yeah. is more important. So the judge can say, well, I think the photographer has contributed something of themselves mm. into the picture mm. rather than just, you know, taking the picture that's in front of you. Yeah. So, so I think so that, that's the change. It's going yeah. beyond the actual eye and the such. You, you want the feelings behind the eye. I think that's the yes. way yeah. And yes. the bar, the standard, is going up and up and up mm. all the time. The standard mm. of, of, mm. of the prints that mm. we're getting in and the projected images that we're getting in mm. um, across the whole of the, the region. When we go yeah. in January, we go to Cambridge for, and, all, oh, right. and okay. then all the clubs, there's about 30 clubs, I think, mm. take part in this uh, very prestigious competition. And you go there and you just go, wow. You yes. know, I mean, this, yeah. you know. Uh, we do quite well there. We, we we've never won, but we do we, quite well there. But mm, you just go, better, wow! We? We, we, yes, it's come up. Yep, which is yeah. Yeah. getting better. Yes, this thing is going to be very very proud of. In for a small mm. society. It is. Yes. No, I think so. You've got some pictures. You I have. Some yes, it... cross section um, of some of the, of the mm -hmm. photographs. Let me explain them slightly. Exactly. A bit of information mm. about them. Well, that's this. This is. All right. One that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the annual barge race on the River Orwell. Right. Uh, and uh, here you're trying to get a, 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 a an interesting picture of mm. uh, of the event. Um, so you're looking for a decent viewpoint, something that leads your eye in to mm. the the barges which are on the horizon. And so it makes it a, a better picture. Yeah. Um, it's got three barges, luckily, which is you know yeah. helps yeah. rather than something yeah, one. Definitely. So there's the three in there. So you get a nice yeah. balanced picture. With a bit of um, a bit of colour in there and everything, mm. so yeah. And the tonal colours, yeah. yeah. The tones, nice, nice are tones. Um, Our competitions, we try and make um, interesting. But this was chocolate box. Now some people do groan, but what's wrong with a picture? You know that is Nothing evocative of chocolate and biscuit tins Nothing. and and, Nothing and also, oops, gotcha. And okay. there yeah. That was a studio night shot. I have a friend who's got three daughters who were all doing ballet yeah 
Yeah. And just and again in monochrome, so mm. focusing on the um, That's beautiful. <laughs> something <this> something <laughs> for the ladies, a little different. And now it's gonna reflect. Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those pictures you either like or you don't. Yes. But it's 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 done very well. Oh, it's yeah. very interesting. Yes. And, and yeah. we know the amount of work that the, 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 the photographer put into that. A pattern picture. I mean, it's also a memory shot from mm. from Venice, but yeah, it probably can't see very clearly on that one, but. Again, simplistic. Again, a picture that your eye is taken in. Not a lot going on, but just a few colours, yes. a touch of red, and the number three. Yeah, it's odd numbers. Winter landscape. I think this one is lovely. And that little touch of red. Mm. Yes, it's quite nice to have a a, um, a little bit of red in the picture, apparently too. <laughs> Well, it's, 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 it's warmth. In it, it, it yeah. means warmth. It's obviously a winter picture, isn't it? Yes. So it's that bit red means warmth. Yes. And, yes. You know, uh, uh, that's, that's why I see it. Yeah. The, the, but which artist? Anne was saying earlier. Was it Turner? Oh, yeah. Who is yes. it? Lots of reds. Now, this is one of our um, model shoots down on the prom. Um, and although it was May, it was cold. <laughs> but huddling them up, and we didn't need to use um, fans to get the hair. No, but that, no. Mother Nature did it, it for us. Yes, <laughs> blowing a hooli, I think. <laughs> <the experience. laughs> but for the model, that was absolutely perfect with the hair going. And um, we do natural oh, history. Natural history. That is so beautiful. Natural history pictures. So this is a. Sorry. I'm trying not to classic. get the light reflection on it. Natural history pictures are actually um, uh, not that difficult to do. No. Uh, because it's all around you. So if you want something to experiment with with your camera, just yes. go out because you can. There's lots of flowers oh, and, and yeah, insects and things. Um, you know, so it's a very good uh, yes. thing to, to practice on and, and try yeah. and get. Mm. Um, and you, you don't need one of those lens that look about four foot long. No, no, no not at all. <laughs> any, any camera will do it. In fact, some of these small compacts have a fantastic macro ability now. Yes, You can get really, do. you, you oh. know, even your phone can go in. Yes, I don't mind. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't realised that they could do oh, yeah. quite good macros. Yes. yes, they zoom in. Yeah. Uh, um, this was a, tab a studio night tabletop where we set up just with a few things. And again, a sort of everybody helping one another. I'm trying to get it so we haven't got the reflection on it. Um, there you go. So I've got memories of someone standing with the cape board, silver reflective yeah. cape board, and yeah, um, yeah. And then somebody had to put a pound coin because the ewer was on the hut. Right. <laughs> okay, this is a classic. Um, this is lovely. That's, yes, yeah. that's Oxford, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Radcliffe there. camera in, Radcliffe. in Ox in Oxford. Ah, right. Yes. Um, so nice. Clean, yes. Clear, crisp mm. um, picture. Yeah, with, with a beautiful sky. So mm. a bit yeah. of luck. Mm. I think that's my favourite we've got on the No, <laughs> how well that will come up, because we're getting a lot of reflection. I think it, yeah, from oh, there, there, that's lovely. That a little bit more just there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, I mean you take the simplicity. You, simplicity. you take um, garlic cloves. Yes. And then you know you just position them and uh, and get you know fantastic uh, um, high really key good. high key picture, which is which is excellent. It's really uh, good. And then the more advanced uh, members mm. could pr produce sort of stunning uh, portraits. Um, this I is like yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh, 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 like that, That's you it. know. So classic portraits, yeah. um, not that easy to do. You can take lots and lots of portraits and and not quite get it right. But this is um, an excellent portrait. Of, um, lovely, so, um, fantastic. Um, but over the oh, over the yeah, year, we'll see something selection. like probably about 600, 600 pictures over all the competitions that we have. Yeah. You know, um, so we see an awful lot of work. Yes. Mm. So it's, it's a tribute to our members the fact that they. They're taking so much good and, and yeah. Uh, yeah. interesting stuff, and 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 trying to choose titles that will sort of get their um, artistic taste buds going. 
Yes. Um, I can remember one of the first ones I put in for was the title was Hairy. Now, you know, there are a lot of shots of pets and the babies with hair sticking yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. But one of the winners was um, a shot someone had taken of Wing Walkers. Oh, you know, right. at a, yes. an air show. Yes. So he'd really thought outside the box, but you couldn't get anything scarier than wind walking. And no, it was a, you can't. It was a good no, shot. Well, what a good thought. Yeah, so we have to try and choose titles. That yeah. We, I wish we'd brought a few of ch the chair entries. Oh, yes. <laughs> we recently <laughs> chair. Very challenging. We had, a yeah. we had a competition called A Chair. A Chair, right. And that, okay. that was uh, quite interesting. Well, yeah. pe people interpreting what a, what a chair was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was. That was very good. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's that's lovely. That's brilliant. So, if you want to come and join, so you're always looking for new for new members. Yes. Yes. Or road. Yeah. The Broadway. The Broadway. Yes, we start again yeah. on the ninth um, of September. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Is so you're it, um, on about the second. We are. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. So we start again then, and we and we run virtually every week. Uh, we have a yes. website where you can download yeah. um, um, uh, the program. Yeah. Make it interesting. We'll we'll make sure that the website's actually on on on, on screen. Okay, right fine. Right. Yes, so well, that gives not a problem. That gives details yeah. and of um, yeah. of what we're doing yeah. and, and yeah. whatever. So mm -hmm. yeah. So it's lovely. Yeah. Thank you so much okay. for coming to tour. It's been absolutely fascinating. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed it. Come and really see us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. That would be lovely. <laughs> Cherry pick a night and come and surprise us. <laughs> Well, it's been an amazing photographs on the cameras. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.